Alright guys, um, today I'm just going to cover an issue where I've been looking up a lot of parts online for a problem with my Toyota Avensis, it's D4D. I've seen a lot of comments online on no real issues on how to fix this problem, but it was the car starting, hard to start and not a cold start. I've recently purchased the car just really as a work, work vehicle and everything seems to be good with it apart from the fact in the morning time when the car just start the motor it would take quite a few turns of the key or even pump this pump two or three times and then turn the key maybe two or three times and the engine would fire up a lot of comments online were similar to myself where they would say once the car fired up in the morning time the rest of the day it wasn't really an issue so I went through a few different stages where I replaced the pump housing, albeit second hand, and it seemed to slightly hear the problem. Down below on the diesel line I fitted a non-return valve because I had been informed from a few mechanics that an issue usually caused them is the diesel overnight trickles back to the, to the tank. So with all these issues put in place, the car still was struggling to start with a cold start. So, went, like most people would do, online, checked a few forms, Toyota forms, and to see what the issue was, and a lot of people had come back to me saying it could possibly be the suction control valve. So, done a bit of research, and it seems that the suction control valve, which is located, very handy, got to, and very easy replaced. Just take off the engine cover, and it's very easy on this model to access, that's it, here. So I replaced that and it's very simple like I've seen a lot of videos that haven't actually shown how to replace it just that that is the problem. So I'm just sort of going to show the process. It's already done mind you but it's very very simple to talk through. First you remove the air box, the pipes attached to it, just this clamp here. You can take off this pipe either here or here. Remove this and then what you'll see is your plug. Pop up your old plug, you have an Allen key fit in here and one here. That is a uh, Allen key size 5 or you can get a fitting for your wrench, whatever suits. Pop them two nuts off. Pop this out, that's your suction control valve. This is the old one, I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with a few different pieces. I didn't seem the need to replace the the nuts, the bolts. It also has another gasket in there, but mine was pretty fresh anyway. I replaced it later, uh, a couple of months ago. And then this is the faulty item, the suction control valve. So yeah, as you can see, there is a rubber ring. It's sort of hard to see it there, just attached to it there. It comes with a new one, so I've installed that onto that. So yeah. Unplug it, fit your new gasket if you wish, put your new o-ring in place, it'll sit nicely in the wee housing in there beside your gasket, pop that new one in, put your two new nuts on, screws, plug that back in, and like I've said, the car struggled to start in the morning time, first turn wouldn't really start, wouldn't really do much for me, took a couple of turns, not ideal if you're in a rush, so this car hasn't been started. It hasn't been driven today. Now mind you, I turned it on to check to see if the problem has been sorted, and it seems like we have a bit of success. So I'll just show you. Usually now this would take about anything between 10 or 5 and 10 goes before it would fire up. This is the second turn of the key this morning. And boom! Oh yeah, she's fired up. So yeah, a suction control valve. I'm sure if you type that into any internet online, Google whatever, and type in suction control valve, your model, the car, your year, even your chassis number. You can't go far wrong of where to get a part. I got mine sent over from England, I'm based in Northern Ireland here, and it was here within two days. Very simple job, very easy to fit. And yeah, could save you a lot of hardship this video, so hopefully it helps. Thanks guys.